So Snoop Dogg literally, he pulled April Fool's uh, on everybody when he said that he was giving up smoke. Now, if you anybody know brothers and sisters, when they give up smoking, they don't say they give up smoke. They give up smoking, right? Giving up whatever they smoking on. But the fact that he literally made the internet go crazy, he was he was trending number one. He even had Meek Mill want to give up smoking, right? Um, but come to find out, he was talking about a smokeless pit, fire pit that a lot of people have for campfires or the back of their house. Um, and he's come up with something that you don't have to deal with the smoke on, on your clothes. Uh, you know, you don't have to deal with all the side effects of dealing with uh, the typical fire pit. And then think about Andre 3000, who dropping an album and everybody's just like, wow, man, I can't wait. So excited to hear Andre 3000 album and then find out that it's a flute album. Um, you know, it's a, it's a instrumental album. And what we have seen from the marketing of black men, of Coach Prime, of Snoop Dogg, and Andre 3000, is that uh, we uh, can connect in a different way to our audiences and have them buy in to uh, the next phase of our career or our product. So you've seen some next level marketing. Peace.